PPC Building Dreams, building it right, right from the start. To a large extent, the walls define a house. The walls are what are visible day after day at all hours in any weather. I'm joined today by Mr. Tuane Torantilo, who is the PPC Dream House architect, to give us an insight on walls. How are you saying? I'm okay, I'm okay. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. So in general, what are the function of walls? A home's wall showcases the house, essentially. It encloses the context, gives privacy, and forms the support for the roof. The exterior walls define the shape of the house. They also support the floors, interior walls, and the roof. Equally important is the role in separating the house's interior from the outdoors. And to, to, and to do this effectively, they have to block the weather systems that insulate, shed water, and repel moisture and air infiltration. Selecting the appropriate materials and finishes for exterior walls contribute to the aesthetic appeal and life of the structure. How can we differentiate these walls? Walls can, can fall in two categories. We have the load-bearing walls, uh, which essentially uh, bears the load from up above, usually another, uh, another floor. Then we have the non-load-bearing walls, uh, which are built independent, the main load-bearing structure of the home. It can be either an interior or an exterior wall, depending on the framing design utilized. A wall takes the load from the roof and upper floors down to the foundation, to its footings and ultimately into the earth. Before you start rearranging or modifying an interior wall, you must decide whether it takes part of this load, in which case it's known as a bearing partition, or is simply a wall that divides interior space. In most cases, if the wall's plane is perpendicular to the rafters, ceiling joints and floor joints, it's load carrying. Which systems are usually used for building these walls? In the Southern Africa, the most common system for building walls are the traditional masonry, which is essentially the cement and clay bricks. Uh, but other types of walling also have to be considered to make informed choice of the right material for application. Alternative systems include lightweight steel frames with brick infill, timber, precast concrete elements, or in situ cast walls. Mr. Ancilo, what should one consider when deciding on which walling system to use? Uh, strength, insulation, uh, material availability, and aesthetics should be the main consideration when deciding on the walling system. While the first concern when building a home, outer walls might be whether they are strong enough. Uh, several other questions should also be considered, including how to minimize material demand and how the walls will be insulated and air sealed. It is important to understand the different roles walls play, taking green building practices into account. All opportunities to improve material efficiency, operating efficiency and overall building performance will be accounted for. I hear you mention green building practices to Aneto. Can you please elaborate more on that for viewers at home so we understand exactly what you mean by green building practices? There are quite a few factors to consider when uh, using green building practices and, and these are energy efficiency. Where will the insulation go? Uh, will the resistance of the material to transfer heat, commonly known as, as R value, be high enough? How will the wall be sealed against air leaks? A focus on energy efficiency pays dividends over time. Uh, the second one would be sustainability issues. Can the resources used to build the structure be produced on a sustainable basis? Uh, local building requirements. Uh, areas prone to hurricanes and earthquakes, for example, may have specific rules to help structures withstand extreme natural events that affect specific areas of the country. Durability and initial cost. Keep in mind that differences in initial cost may not seem quite as drastic when weighed against the expected lifespan of the house. Combined functions. Wall systems that combine structure with finish uh, have an inherent material efficiency advantage and should be carefully considered. For example, the PPC house feature wall that supports the staircase. Uh, it's a concrete wall which is both structural and is a finish.
These are not just walls. These are the borders that house your dreams. Remember, don't settle for an ah semen. Ask for the tried and tested one. The one as strong as an elephant. Ask for PPC semen.